Having continued their impressive unbeaten start to the season in style during the week, Lens were next faced with a relatively short trip to a relatively beatable opponent in Reims on Sunday afternoon. It was a 5-2 win for Le Songueur on Wednesday, recovering from throwing away a two-goal lead over Lorient with his three second-half goals to reclaim second in the table from OM. The visitors, meanwhile, have been in a positive mood after recording their first victory of the season at the fifth time of asking last weekend. The first chance of the match would be a fairly chaotic one. Lens initially on the attack, possession changing hands, and attempting to break. Cynical foul, but the free kick taken quickly, putting Flo Balogun up against one defender. The pair wrestled, turned, Balogun took the ball off the boot of Alexi Flips, and finally getting away a shot, was saved by Brice Somba. Frustration for Flips. In truth, probably should have been left the shot. The next time Lance came forwards, would result in a chance of their own. David Costa on the left. The ball played around the outside of the box with Lois Appenda firing one just wide from range. Good effort. Certainly had Patrick Pence worried for a moment. Nil nil at the break. France hadn't won any of their six Liga Ubrix matches against Lens in the 21st century beaten in their two games last season. A third straight defeat here against the Zongyo would be a first in their top flight history. And the visitors would come very close to opening the scoring early in the second half, stealing the ball not once but twice in the round's half, striking the post and then the rebound coming to nothing. Relief for Pence, let off for Le Rouge Blanc. nearly make the most of their good fortune. Down the other end, the ball worked into the box with a nice flick. Great last ditch tackle, briefly slowing the momentum. Picked up again by Marshall Manetzi. Just a great save from Samba. And a good punch to clean up after from the keeper. The Hoos will keep up the momentum, making the way forwards once again. Winning the ball back with good tenacity, but then Junior Ito brought down on the edge of the box. Frustration for Rance, but a straight red for David Mercado. deemed to have cynically prevented a goal-scoring opportunity. Shortly after, again, they nicked the ball from a Lens player. But this time, they would make it count. Kamori Dumbia finding Balogun, who fooled the keeper with his first touch and then fired into an empty net. Arsenal Loney becomes the first Rans player with five goals in his first six games since Carlos Bianchi in 1973. But just as quickly as the game had turned in one direction, it turned back in the other. Some nice build-up play by the visitors. The ball spread out to the right and then played down the wing. John Onana with the cross, which was met at the back post by Florian Sotica and then turned in by Openda. Eight minutes left on the clock. Brave leap by Sotoka and then Openda making amends for earlier misses with the equaliser. Chances would keep coming late though. First Rance came close to a spectacular winner. Corner from the left met by a pair of scissor kicks. Andrew Gravion's the second. It was tipped over by Somba. Almost the most acrobatic goal of the year. And Lons looking for a winner of their own. Hooked down the left, crossed in for a pender. Goal scorer not quite able to make it a brace. That's in the process. And that would be the final chance. 1 1, probably a fair result, all things considered. Lance slip back slightly from the leading pair, whilst Rance make it four games unbeaten.